Welcome to History Timeless Tales. In June 1812, Napoleon Bonaparte, the brilliant military strategist and emperor of France, embarked on a campaign that would ultimately prove to be one of his most catastrophic military blunders, the invasion of Russia. Motivated by his desire to enforce the continental system and defeat the Russian Empire's resistance to his economic policies, Napoleon assembled an enormous force, known as the Grande Army, comprising soldiers from various European nations. This formidable army of around 600,000 men, supported by artillery, cavalry, and supply wagons, crossed the Neman River and entered Russian territory. Initially encountering limited resistance, the French forces advanced deeper into the vast expanse of Russia. However, as they pushed further into the heartland, they faced two pivotal challenges that would seal their fate. Firstly, the Russian strategy of employing a scorched-earth policy began to take its toll. As the Russians retreated, they deliberately burned and destroyed their own villages and resources, leaving nothing for the advancing French forces. This forced Napoleon's army to rely heavily on an already strained supply chain, leading to widespread shortages of food, clothing, and medical supplies. Secondly, the brutal Russian winter set in earlier and more fiercely than Napoleon had anticipated. The Grande Army, unprepared for the extreme cold, lacked adequate winter clothing and shelter. As temperatures plummeted, the soldiers suffered from frostbite, malnutrition, and diseases. The logistical nightmare of maintaining such a massive army in these harsh conditions strained their capabilities even further. Napoleon's initial victories, including the Battle of Bruginor in September 1812, did not secure the decisive victory he needed to force Russia's surrender. As winter deepened, Napoleon realized the dire situation his army was in. Faced with dwindling supplies, bitter cold, and constant attrition, he made the fateful decision to initiate a retreat in November 1812. The retreat turned into a disastrous ordeal as the retreating army faced ambushes, attacks by Russian forces, and the merciless Russian winter. By the time the remnants of the Grande Army reached the Neman River, their numbers had been decimated, with estimates suggesting that only about 10% of the initial force survived. Napoleon's audacious campaign had not only failed to subdue Russia but had also dealt a severe blow to his military might and reputation. The disastrous Russian campaign marked a turning point in Napoleon's fortunes, weakening his grip on Europe and ultimately leading to his downfall. Napoleon Bonaparte's ill-fated invasion of Russia in 1812 stands as a stark testament to the devastating consequences of hubris and miscalculation. Driven by his desire for territorial expansion and the enforcement of his continental system, Napoleon amassed an unprecedented force of over half a million soldiers, drawn from various nations across Europe, to march into Russia. His initial victories, such as the capture of Smolensk and the Battle of Borodinor, masked the underlying challenges that would soon unravel his ambitions. As the French Grande Army advanced deeper into Russian territory, they encountered a relentless adversary in the form of the Russian winter and a scorched-earth strategy employed by the Russian forces under the command of General Mikhail Kutuzov. The harsh climate and the systematic destruction of resources left the invading army vulnerable to starvation, frostbite, and disease. The lack of proper winter clothing and shelter exacerbated the suffering, leading to a downward spiral of morale and combat effectiveness. By the time Napoleon reached Moscow in September, he found the city largely abandoned and set ablaze, depriving him of the decisive victory he sought. Faced with the reality of a harsh winter without adequate supplies and a dwindling army, Napoleon made the fateful decision to retreat in October. The retreat quickly turned into a disastrous ordeal, as Russian attacks, guerrilla warfare, and the relentless cold further decimated his forces. 
The once mighty Grande army was reduced to a fraction of its former size, with only a fraction of the soldiers surviving the retreat. Napoleon's Russian campaign marked a significant turning point in his fortunes, eroding his aura of invincibility and emboldening his adversaries in Europe. This catastrophic campaign serves as a timeless cautionary tale of the perils of underestimating the challenges of geography, climate, and the resolve of an opponent, ultimately contributing to Napoleon's downfall. Napoleon Bonaparte's grand ambitions led him to embark on a military campaign against Russia in 1812, a decision that would prove to be a strategic blunder of monumental proportions. Fueled by his desire to exert dominance over Europe and enforce the continental system, Napoleon amassed a massive army, the Grande Army, with the intent of subduing the Russian Empire. Despite initial successes and the capture of key Russian cities, Napoleon's campaign was undermined by several critical factors. Foremost among these was the Russian adoption of a scorched-earth strategy, leaving a path of destruction in their wake and denying Napoleon's forces the necessary provisions. As the harsh Russian winter descended upon the overstretched French army, the lack of adequate winter clothing, shelter, and food inflicted a heavy toll on the soldiers. The infamous Battle of Borodino, which should have been a decisive victory, turned into a costly and inconclusive clash, squandering precious resources and morale. Arriving in a devastated Moscow, Napoleon found the city abandoned and set ablaze, leaving him without a clear path to victory. His reluctant retreat turned catastrophic as the retreating army faced brutal Russian attacks, further supply shortages, and unforgiving cold. By the time remnants of the once proud Grande army crossed back into friendly territory, the losses were staggering, rendering the initial invasion a tragic and costly failure. Napoleon's Russian debacle highlighted the perils of overextension, underestimating the challenges of a vast and unfamiliar landscape, and failing to adapt to the harsh realities of warfare. This strategic misstep marked a turning point in Napoleon's dominance and played a pivotal role in shaping the course of European history. Napoleon Bonaparte's audacious campaign to conquer Russia in 1812 ultimately unraveled due to a combination of strategic blunders and the formidable resilience of the Russian defense, notably exemplified by their implementation of a scorched-earth tactic. Initially, Napoleon's Grande Army, bolstered by its reputation and numerical strength, advanced into Russian territory with apparent success, capturing cities and engaging in battles that seemed to reinforce Napoleon's military prowess. However, as the Russian forces retreated, they left a trail of desolation in their wake, employing the scorched-earth strategy to deny the invading forces the resources they needed. This deliberate destruction of infrastructure, supplies, and crops significantly weakened Napoleon's logistical capabilities. Furthermore, as the French forces moved deeper into Russia, the vast distances, harsh climate, and scarcity of supplies took their toll. The culminating Battle of Borodino, though technically a French victory, proved pyrrhic in nature, depleting Napoleon's forces and failing to deliver the decisive blow he sought. By the time Napoleon reached Moscow, his hopes were dashed as the city had been abandoned and set ablaze by the retreating Russians, leaving him without the anticipated victory that could have compelled Russia to capitulate. The onset of winter exacerbated the dire situation, with the ill-equipped Grande Army succumbing to frostbite, starvation, and disease during the catastrophic retreat. This series of misfortunes and strategic missteps marked a turning point in Napoleon's reign, significantly weakening his grip on Europe and setting the stage for his ultimate downfall. Napoleon's ambitious foray into Russia in 1812, initially marked by triumphant advances, soon devolved into a tragic saga of military miscalculation and strategic misfortune. Buoyed by his previous conquests and confident in his tactical genius, Napoleon launched an invasion with the intent of subduing Russia and expanding his empire. 
The early stages of the campaign saw victories, such as the capture of Smolensk, bolstering his confidence. However, his inability to secure a decisive victory at the Battle of Brzezino exposed the flaws in his strategy. As the Russian forces retreated, they executed a scorched earth policy, leaving behind a wasteland that eroded Napoleon's supply lines and drained his resources. The climactic moment was the entry into a deserted Moscow in September, a hollow victory that denied him the political leverage he had anticipated. The cruel Russian winter proved to be the final nail in the coffin, mercilessly exposing the unpreparedness of the French forces. Ravaged by extreme cold, hunger, and guerrilla attacks, Napoleon's once mighty Grande army was reduced to a shattered and demoralized remnant during the harrowing retreat. This costly misadventure punctuated the zenith of Napoleon's power and marked the beginning of his decline, as the disastrous Russian campaign demonstrated the limits of his military prowess and resilience in the face of unforeseen challenges. Napoleon's audacious invasion of Russia in 1812 unraveled dramatically during the bitter winter months, leading to the collapse of his campaign and a severe blow to his once unassailable reputation. Following initial successes and the capture of key Russian cities, the French Grande Army confronted the cruel reality of the Russian winter that set in far earlier and with greater intensity than anticipated. Lacking proper winter attire and provisions, the soldiers suffered immensely as temperatures plummeted. Meanwhile, the Russian scorched earth tactic, orchestrated by General Mikhail Kuchezov, had left the French army deprived of crucial resources and shelter as they ventured deeper into the vast Russian expanse. The logistical nightmare of supplying such a colossal force became insurmountable, triggering widespread malnutrition frostbite, and diseases. The turning point came when Napoleon reached Moscow in September, only to find the city deserted and ablaze, denying him the triumph he desperately needed. As winter took hold, Napoleon faced the harsh reality that his overstretched army was ill-equipped to endure the frigid conditions. The retreat that followed became an epic disaster, marked by unrelenting Russian attacks, the breakdown of discipline, and the cruel grasp of the winter cold. The once mighty Grande army was reduced to a mere fraction of its former strength, leaving a trail of suffering, death, and defeat across the Russian landscape. Napoleon's Russian campaign exposed not only his strategic shortcomings but also the limitations of his power when confronted with the unyielding forces of nature and the resolute will of an adversary. The retreat from Moscow in 1812 stands as a defining chapter in the unraveling of Napoleon's dominance, showcasing the catastrophic consequences of his ill-fated Russian campaign. After capturing Moscow in September, Napoleon's hopes of a swift victory were dashed as he encountered the city deserted and set ablaze, with the Russians refusing to surrender. With winter approaching, Napoleon faced the painful decision to retreat marking the beginning of a harrowing ordeal that would haunt his legacy. The Grande Army, already ravaged by the Russian scorched earth strategy and the lack of supplies, was ill-prepared for the brutal Russian winter. As temperatures dropped, the soldiers endured extreme suffering from frostbite, hunger, and disease. Russian attacks and harassment further depleted their numbers. The retreat turned into a nightmarish journey through treacherous terrain, with the remnants of the once mighty army battling not just the elements but also their shattered morale. Starvation and exhaustion claimed countless lives, reducing Napoleon's forces to a mere shadow of their former strength. The retreat from Moscow stripped Napoleon of his aura of invincibility and revealed his vulnerability in the face of strategic misjudgment unforgiving conditions, and relentless opposition. The shattered remnants of the Grand Army marked a stark contrast to the triumphant force that had set out months earlier, ultimately marking a turning point that signaled the decline of Napoleon's power and the beginning of his downfall. 
Napoleon's ambitious gamble to conquer Russia in 1812 became a defining moment of his career, showcasing the perilous nature of unchecked ambition and strategic miscalculation. Driven by his desire to enforce the continental system and extend his influence, Napoleon assembled a colossal force for his Russian campaign, only to witness its stunning collapse in the face of unforeseen challenges. The Russian scorched earth strategy, coupled with the early onset of a brutal winter, pushed the Grande Army to the brink of disaster. Napoleon's inability to secure a swift and decisive victory, epitomized by the inconclusive Battle of Berejinor and the hollow occupation of Moscow, revealed the flaws in his strategy. The subsequent retreat from Moscow proved catastrophic, as dwindling supplies, sub-zero temperatures, and relentless Russian attacks decimated his once mighty army. This campaign marked the zenith of Napoleon's ambition and the beginning of his decline, as the campaign's human toll, military losses, and tarnished reputation eroded his grip on Europe. The Russian debacle exposed the limits of his grand vision and the fragile nature of his empire, forever altering the trajectory of his reign and reshaping the geopolitical landscape of Europe. Napoleon's ill-fated Russian campaign of 1812 serves as a stark reminder of the catastrophic consequences that arise from underestimating the power of nature and misjudging the strategic landscape. Bolstered by his military reputation and aspirations of European dominance, Napoleon embarked on a monumental expedition that soon devolved into a tale of unmitigated disaster. As his Grande Army ventured deeper into Russian territory, it encountered the unforgiving elements of the vast Russian landscape, coupled with the crippling impact of the Russian scorched earth strategy. The harsh climatic conditions, compounded by the lack of winter provisions and clothing, inflicted immense suffering on Napoleon's soldiers, leading to rampant illness, frostbite, and malnutrition. The notorious retreat from Moscow, spurred by the city's abandonment and subsequent fire, only intensified the tragedy. The desperate march back to France was marked by incessant Russian attacks, dwindling morale, and the grim toll of the winter cold. Napoleon's strategic blunders, his failure to secure a decisive victory, and his inability to adapt to the realities of the Russian campaign were all laid bare. The Russian misadventure highlighted that even the most formidable military leaders could be humbled by nature's forces and the intricacies of unconventional warfare, marking a turning point that dimmed Napoleon's aura and catalyzed the unraveling of his empire. Napoleon's ill-fated expedition to Russia in 1812 stands as a pivotal lesson in the dangers of unchecked hubris and strategic overreach. Fueled by his unprelealed military successes and a desire to assert his dominance, Napoleon amassed a formidable force for his campaign, setting the stage for one of history's most disastrous military endeavors. The Russian scorched earth tactic, which deprived Napoleon's forces of vital resources, coupled with the onset of a brutal winter, exposed the vulnerabilities of his grand design. The Battle of Berejinor, which failed to deliver the decisive victory he sought, marked a turning point as the Russian strategy pushed the French army to the brink of collapse. The occupation of Moscow, a hollow victory, only precipitated the catastrophic retreat. Napoleon's strategic blunders, coupled with his underestimation of Russia's resolve and the indomitable force of nature, resulted in a staggering loss of life, morale, and reputation. The French defeat reverberated across Europe, emboldening opposition to Napoleon's rule and setting the stage for his eventual downfall. The Russian campaign serves as a stark reminder that even the most brilliant military minds can be humbled by the complexities of war, unforeseen challenges, and the unforgiving consequences of arrogance.